Hey guys, it's Freddy Tech back with another video from CFL Tech and we have the streamingbetter.com website here and this is some awards they put out at the end of the year and as we head into 2024 and we're looking at this here now with the price increase mentions and we did see some this year that's for sure now this will be linked down below if you want to check this out and John Finn wrote this media news story and it's spot on as far as the awards go for the worst price increases we have DirecTV and Fubo now we know DirecTV had two price increases in 2023 which was a bit of a surprise to see two and it did affect all packages and they are now the highest cost base plan and that's a record now for live TV streaming at $80 per month. Now we have DirecTV Stream and Hulu Live and they're pretty close. We just did a video on the channel comparing three of the services. Now the base plans are very close in price from $72.99, $76.99 and $79.99. But DirecTV Stream does have the most expensive base plan for live TV streaming right now. So going into 2024, we'll see what happens with them. If there's going, you know, will there be another price increase? Now, they, you know, they had two increases, which was the first time we've seen that in one year. And then you had Fubo. Fubo had a price increase at the beginning of the year. And then they started to increase the regional sports network fees. And customers were seeing that being added. And depending on your location, if there was more regional sports, you would pay a little bit more. So that was not a good thing. They got, you know, the Bally Sports back and they got a few of the others. And they definitely added the fees to the packages so you can get those regional sports networks. And as we know, it's rather expensive to get sports coverage on systems, sports channels. Just like news, you know, cable news networks, it's very expensive. As we know, local TV stations are very expensive. Tegna and Nexstar are great examples of these disputes that are going on because of increased programming costs. So, you know, when you look at these increases, they are sometimes warranted, as we hate to say that, but we don't know what these companies' expenses are. And if they're actually not even increasing prices sometimes when they could have, you know, we don't know. Probably not, but, you know, we can give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. But chances are they still want to keep their margins, you know, growing, which makes sense as a business. But as a consumer, we don't always see that. And, of course, right away we say, boy, they make a lot of money. <laughs> and they do, a lot of them. But it is expensive to run the content that's for sure. But even though the $10 increase isn't the highest yearly price increase we've seen to date, it was the highest in 2023. That's for DirecTV Stream. And we look at uh, Contra Fubo increased by 5, Hulu by 7, Sling by 5, and YouTube TV by 8. And Vidco even had a $10 price increase in 2023, but we all know what's happened with them as far as the huge blackout or outage. That's still going on from early uh, in October. So that's been unprecedented. That's also another award on the streamingbetter.com website. So that is just not a good award. And as we see here um, with DirecTV, it's a minimum of $80. That's the highest service. And you know, while they deserve the award, they win the award. Um, the, that brings up to $80. Fubo made a change which massively impacted the cost of its plans, and that's with the RSNs. So they did, you know, go up quite a bit as well. And as we've seen, there, there were price increases across all platforms and also even on video on demand. So, you know, it's just it was just a big year of price increases, and I don't see anything changing for 2024. I think we're going to be back on here with more videos on price increases, so stay tuned for that. I hate to say that, but, you know, it's almost inevitable. And with these carriage disputes, who knows how many more blackouts we'll see in 2024. So put your comments down below. Do you think that DirecTV Stream will have a price increase at the beginning of the year? 
as they did in the beginning of 2023, even though they had a price increase this past fall just a few months ago. So that's going to be very interesting to see what happens in the beginning or the first quarter of 2024. Who else do you think will have price increases this year, especially for live TV streaming? So put your comments down below. And again, check out this article in full. Uh, we didn't go through every detail as it takes a longer time to do that. But uh, put your comments down below and happy new year. This may be the last video of the year, maybe not. But uh, hopefully you're enjoying the videos. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Freddy Tech will be checking out this one soon to be back with another. Take care.